In this video, we're going to be doing our first print on the MakerBot Replicator Mini Plus, and we'll show you how to set up the file and get it printing. So we'll start by going into MakerBot Print and starting a new project. The first thing we'll need to do is insert an STL file, and we'll just drop in our Dreamo keyring, and you can take a look around the file just to check that it's correct. And then if we go into the print settings, uh, we'll adjust the layer height to make this uh, a better quality print. Um, choose fine detail and set it to a 20% infill. And then we'll slice the file and this should take about 15 seconds. Uh, once it's been sliced, uh, you can look through um, each layer and check that everything's going to print OK. And you can also slide across like this um, to see the, the exact toolpath that the printer is going to follow. And then if we go and take a look at the onboard um, camera, you can see and check that the bill plate is clear, which is especially useful if you're printing in another room. And then we'll set the file to print. Uh, it takes about three minutes to heat up, which is quite a bit quicker than the previous model, and then it should get underway. Right, so that's our print finished. It's taken about an hour and 20 minutes to do our Dreamo keyring here. Um, I'm just going to take it off the bill plate and we'll give you a closer look. So the bill plate just slides out like that. And as you can see, it's a nice rigid uh, surface. And the print just comes off uh, with a bit of force. And it's printed on a raft um, to ensure we get a good amount of adhesion. There's no need to apply uh, bill tape uh, to this to this bill plate, which is a nice, nice new feature. If we take a closer look at the model itself, you can see that that's the kind of detail you'll be getting at 100 microns, and then the raft just snaps off like so. Okay, so if you've got any more questions about the MakerBot Replicator Mini Plus, uh, just leave them in the comment section below this video, and we'll be happy to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.